Hello felters and welcome. Today we're going to make in this video this quite striking grey highland cow. It's to go with all the grey living rooms out there. I thought it would be a bit unusual. So let's get started. What do we need? We need wire and pliers. That's a base wool. The coat is a roving or tops type wool. I do a whole video on wools. That's for the legs and then the horns, nose and a little bit of black for the nostrils. So this is um, making the wire armature. It makes it a lot easier if you have got wire inside of him because he stands up really, really well. So I do a whole video on wire armature where I go through it a lot slower. So it'll help you if you're interested in that. Do have a look at my other videos. So I'm just making the four legs. I've got the flat nose pliers which make the bottom of the legs nice and uh, smooth. And then any excess I'm just twisting round. And I've made him a little tiny neck, so that's it. He's not very big, he's about three or four inches with the wire armature and then about five by the time you finish. So take any base wool that you want to get rid of or not using, wrap it round really tight and then start felting it in. That needle there is a tri-needle, it just helps speed things up. I do list some of my tools down below if you're interested in any of them. So there we're adding, add, adding, adding a bit more, we're building it up. So this will all be hidden underneath his coat. So don't worry about it looking smart. You just need to get it fairly firm. So there we go. And under his tummy, I put his leg color so that if anyone looks underneath, they'd see. So it's matching. So this is the leg. So we attach a bit at the top and then wrap it round really tight and try and keep it smooth and just take off any excess that you don't need. I put a little support underneath just to help me to begin with and then start needle felting it all over. And to get the flat feet you just needle felt upwards at the bottom. See there we go. It, you do sort of have to move around quite a lot when you're felting the legs. Put them in different positions to be able to get to all sides. So we're doing very simple legs with him. I do quite a few Highland cows now. There's one of my minis just watching. Um, so there's lots of other videos if you're interested, some easy, some harder. So there's all the legs done. I'm going to give him a tiny neck. I had left a little bit of wire out. I don't, I don't worry too much about wire in the head because I just add the head after. So the neck I've just taken a bit of wool, wrapped it round and I'm just making a little bump or a lump. It doesn't have to be beautiful. This will all be hidden by the huge mass of hair in a bit. So just work it in and you want it fairly firm again. There we go and we're wrapping up another bit of um, the, the actual wool colour for the leg colour for his head because some of his head will show so you want that to be the same colour. So wrap it up nice and tightly and make a sort of oval or rugby ball shape and with the back bit of it just hold on to a bit of fluff because that's the bit that's going to help you when you add it to the rest of the body. So needle felt the head quite tightly and I want, I'd prefer it to be quite neat because people can see some of it. So keep rolling it and needle felting it. I go between two needles, um, a 36 and then a 40. So this is the nostrils or the muzzle or the nose part. So I've taken a little bit of pink and I've needle felted it into a tiny sort of little circle. And then you tack it around the edge and then needle felt it on. It doesn't take much for it to be quite secure. It's really quite easy. And then take two little bits of black, tiny bits, roll them into a ball and then needle felt them gently onto the nose and that is literally all we're doing for the detail of the nose and we're going to give him eyes because you can see the eyes underneath his um, hairy locks so I did give him eyes the four mil eyes I think they were little plastic eyes you don't have to have actual eyes you can just use black black um, wool and then needle felt an eye so that little wooden tool is called, it, called an owl, A-W-L, I spell it again in a, in a bit for you. Just it's a fantastic and really useful tool for making eyes. I go through, I've got a whole video on wools, 
tools, mats, needles. So if you're confused about anything, do have a look at the other videos. So this is the ears. So take a bit of wool and you're going to make it into a sort of a circle, maybe a bit more overly and leave a fluffy bit at the end. Ears don't have to be perfect because there's going to be so much wool over the top of his fringe. Now I accidentally didn't show you attaching the head, but you literally hold it on, needle felt it, and then when you've attached it, get another bit of wool, and this is what I always say, you, you make it look like a scarf, wrap it round and then needle felt, and that makes him nice and secure, so sorry about that, apologies. Well, I thought the camera was recording and it wasn't. Um, horns, so nice white wool, whatever wool you choose. And pipe cleaners are so easy because the wool will stick to it really well. You can use wire or you can do it with nothing. But if you've got a pipe cleaner, you've got the chance to make a little bit of a shape with the horns. So I quite like the pipe cleaner, it's easy. So wrap the, the wool around it and then just lots of felting and rolling, felting and, and rolling and just turn the tips or the ends in slightly you don't have to have sharp points on it or anything like that and then the magic rolling between your hands works really well to smooth it all over I'm going to do a video on how to get a smooth finish so I think that will be popular so there we go so I'm not attaching the ears yet because they get in the way and the horns so we're going to start with his coat so take out whatever wool you're using for the coat needle felt it through the middle fold it over and then needle felt the top a little bit more so there we go needle felt through the middle fold it over needle felt again and then cut the ends off so it's nice and long we do I do a lot of trimming at the end so the level I'm doing is about halfway up his body and it is just one level round because he's not that big. Some of my other ones I do quite a few layers. And here we go, we're going to do his bottom. So if you do a piece facing backwards and then fold it over, it gives him a defined bottom before we start doing the midline. You, you want them to look like they've got a proper bottom. The same thing through the middle, fold over and needle felt. It's, it's really quite similar with a lot of my hairy animals, the process we go through. Sounds a bit odd, hairy animals. Right, so there we go. And then the midline. So try and get this midline in the middle because it is going to show at the end. I mean, you can go over it again if yours isn't quite right. There it is, a little bit closer. And you just needle felt it down and as you needle felt some of the edges will start to raise up a bit and that midline sort of disappears and again I'm going between the two needles just to see which one's better which one can get the coat a bit deeper in so now we're just popping up underneath the neck so get it nice and high under the neck so when you fold it down it's covered all the neck joining so that's the other side of the neck it's very hairy now. A bit more of the midline working your way up. And now we're going to attach the ears. They won't get so squished. See, if you attach them earlier, they end up getting quite squished. So I try and leave them till towards the end and the horns. So you've got the fluffy bits at the back, just attach them with those. And again, it's not supposed to be neat and perfect because this will all be covered up. And then on top of the ears, I'm going to attach the horns. And I just took a bit of the um, leg colour or the base colour. And needle felt either side of the horns really tightly to it and actually because the horns have felt have got wool around them you can needle felt the actual horn through quite well and that makes them nice and um, they stay on really well so now we're going to carry on so we're going to do his fringe I don't know what you'd call it on a cow I know on a horse so his fringe or forelock so I felted uh, halfway through the wool behind the horns and folded it forwards and this depends on how much you want to do and then I do cut the fringe quite short around the nose because it's nice to see the actual nose and the muzzle so there's a little bit more of the midline going up the back we're just gonna cover up the hole now at the back and I think I give him a little bit more facing forwards 
And when you pull the fringe forwards, pull some bits down by the sides of the ears as well, so it sort of covers everywhere. There we go, spreading it out a bit, and there he is, all done. So I trimmed quite a bit round by the um, nose. So he's really unusual colour, it looks like I've gone black and white. But thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Do look at all my other videos, I've got loads more to come. If you have enjoyed it, please subscribe because then I can keep making more videos. I love comments as well and happy felting. Thanks guys.